The objective of what we're trying to accomplish today is twofold. One is to leave a forest that's going to increase in size, increase in value, and uh, um, have more of a long-lived component. At the same time, regenerate another, a second age class structure in the forest understory by giving it some sunlight and uh, access to uh, uh, water and nutrients and all the things they need for the next generation of forest to grow. So we're um, about five kilometers from the former settlement of New France. My name is uh, Marcus Swicker. The reason we're here today is to talk about forest management and uh, moose management in the same area. In this part of the forest, it's part of the moose management area in Western Nova Scotia, which spans uh, almost half a million acres. Um, and it's where moose have historically um, done well, thrived and uh, lived in Nova Scotia. My name is Chris Cogswell, I work for West 4. We uh, have to provide uh, moose clumps to provide cover for the mainland moose. So they're always, they always have that shelter in the summertime, in the heat, as far as, as grazing goes and food. One of the things we're striving to do here is create an uneven age forest. So it's not just about growing uh, timber, but we're trying to grow a multi-aged, multi-species forest. So we're not the scientists, we're the foresters. Um, so the scientists come up with the special manager practice to follow. That's what the, the scientists and the biologists say is uh, as forest managers we can do best to uh, um, help the moose and we're the guys that implement it on the ground. You know my son he's seven eight years old now turning eight. You know you have these areas and this, this uh, wilderness and, and these forests for future uh, generations so my son when he's my age can enjoy them as I have. 